All right, Reggie. Um, uh, you know, noticeably by his absence is uh, is Big James, but hopefully he feels better. He's got a little bit of a flu bug. But um, before we get started, obviously we're, we're going to do some solo uh, questions. I have a lot for you today. Um, but before we get into it, is there anything that you want to speak on? I know, um, you know, you, you, you may have a few things you want to talk, touch on before we get started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all just stay tuned. Uh, we're going to be responding to... Uh... Uh, that 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 dude that's got C now look like he's C now on us or a liar, Keepy D. All a bunch of his episodes that he's over there doing with with Vlad TV. I told y'all, warned y'all that it was on his way. So y'all make sure y'all tune in during the week because we'll be responding to a lot of his uh his inaccuracies. Uh, still bombing Buck podcast. We're gonna drop y'all jewel. For those of y'all that want to um, hear that whole audio of Bone uh, and, and my boy d Dog and hear it all in, the, in the entirety, y'all, sometime this week, uh, keep uh, looking out on, on going over to the Steel Bombing Podcast because we're going to surprise y'all one day and drop it and so y'all can listen to it. For those that y'all that care, we're going to probably drop it in our you know, John make those calls, so I can't really say, but probably about an hour of sequence, and I was about four hours work. You Pyru niggas, it's really some good listening to. Y'all see how a nigga really feel about y'all. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so other than that, still bombing podcast. Please go over there and subscribe. Continue to check us out on Facebook. Uh, y'all been dropping us on that, um, and then also uh, check us out, James and and some other guests, Reggie Senior, and all of them are gonna be doing some periodic uh, drop-ins, but those mainly for the podcast. Uh, Bomb first is Reggie and John. So y'all don't like how we do it? Y'all want to go hear interviews uh, daily from other people? Then y'all know what to do. There's other channels out there that's doing that. Shout out to my boy Kim Capone. You've been doing a good job over there. I know I'm always shouting out Art and Vlad channel. But I've been noticing you've been doing good things over there as well. So that's where y'all go if y'all want to hear people doing uh, interviews other than Rich. That's it. <laughs> okay, Reggie. So today is April the 3rd, which marks the 21st anniversary since Buntree's passing. For people um, who don't know what happened and don't know how you guys were feeling at the time, can you talk to me a little bit about what happened when Mob James' brother, um, Buntry, was, um, for lack of a better word, when he passed away 21 years ago? Whoa, April the 3rd. Boy, time flies. I could remember that day like it just happened, getting that phone call that that, that happened. Um, Wow, I really wish James was here today. Um, maybe that's why he's not feeling that well today. And uh, man, yeah, 21 years, I didn't realize that. Oh, uh, you know what I'll do is I'll explain pretty much the cause of it or what, what I believe is the reason. Because I know a lot of y'all heard, heard different rumors and heard things. I'll tell y'all the real, I believe it. Take it where y'all want. Uh, damn, I wish I would have talked to James about this before I rehashed it. Uh, but he really don't listen anyway. Uh, so, rest in peace, Buntry. Uh, prayers out to uh, the McDonald's family. I know his kids are older now, little Alton and now, and uh, I know his sisters still have a hard time dealing with it. And then, of course, James and, uh, and Timmy Rue. What happened, though, was, uh, you know, y'all hear all the things. Yes, yes, let me get the elephant out of the room, yes. Buntry was in a vehicle that was registered to Reggie Wright Jr. Uh, that Shug was making the payment on. And I went and got, and, 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 uh, had it in my name because I was the only one around, <laughs> to be honest. 
that had good enough credit to get stuff at the time. And so, uh, but all, all intents and purposes, that was Buntry's vehicle to be driving around while he was working for Suge because Suge had just came home. And uh, we got Buntry that car because he was always with Suge. Uh, hey, niggas get mad. They don't like hearing about it. But y'all need to know the truth to why this happened. There was some incidents that go on down with this dude named Vincent Buchanan. They got killed. And they believe that Buntry, Reggie, and Shiv had something to do with the death of Vincent Buchanan for whatever reason. Uh, so there was a little beef going back between uh, some Fruit Town dudes Tree top dudes, and then Buntry and then the mob dudes. A guy from another neighborhood, from Swans, or uh, they call him, but he grew up with us. Uh, Dave is the one that allegedly, allegedly, and he's dead, so that's why I can speak on that. Has something to do with the death of uh, of, of Vito Vincent. And so, allegedly, and James has said that he put the rumor out, but it wasn't factual, but I have heard of some other people that said that they saw the tape, that Buntry had possession of that tape and was watching the execution of Mr. Buchanan go down. And so you hear words of that happening and words get back. And the person that put that out is the person where I tell y'all to this day I don't like. I, 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 he ain't no buster <laughs> by no means, but I still I don't like him because I know he was playing double agent. Hanging out over there at Buntry and Elm House, going back reporting stuff to the other people. Know that for a fact. And so... That's my signal. But anyway, um, so he was playing double agent and, and went back and, and told you guys. And so they was like, wait a minute, V-Dog has some handcuffs put on him? Which y'all don't know, it was some fucking fake plastic handcuffs. If Reggie gonna be involved or something like that, which I don't, but if I am, it's gonna be some real handcuffs. And he was, the dudes dressed up like they were police and took him and, uh, and kidnapped him, killed him, and dropped him off in front of the cemetery on Central. And Buntry's watching this, which to the life of me, I don't know why they were doing that, if it's true. They said, okay, so Buntry, Reggie, and Suge had something to do with this. How Suge name come up in the equation, I don't know other than Reggie and Buntry was the two closest people to him at the time. Even though Shug was in prison during this time. No reason for V-Dog and Shug to have any problems. After I'm hearing about this and going to ask Shug. He was, he was flabbergasted about it. But the rumors get out there. Just like y'all got all the other rumors out there about us. And so, the guys... And, and, and this dude named Lil Rod and Top Cat came and confronted Buntry about it in his yard. And so Buntry told him, man, what y'all talking about? Whatever, you know. They had words and all of that. And thought it was dropped. Then the dudes that allegedly did this crime got killed. <laughs> and the girl... And a young lady that was with him got her arm shut off in front of my grandmother's house and in Buntry's yard because they were walking to Buntry's house. If y'all don't know anything about this, that's a message. Because <laughs> they could have followed them and got them anywhere. But they killed the dude going into Buntry's house in front of his, his house. So now 
Everybody on high alert. Telling them niggas, y'all need to be careful. But I ain't really with them no more. I'm over there, I pretty much left death row. And I'm over there running American Music Awards. I mean, American Music Up, the AMC. Putting out the relatives and stuff like that. So I'm away from them, but I'm still here. And then I'm knowing stuff that's going on. And so, that's why it's so funny to me. Y'all y'all let this white boy and Frank throw all the allegations. Frank Alexander, somebody that I ain't fucked with since 1996 or 1997. Gonna go and say, oh, Bunchy was in the car with Reggie. Yeah, how, how is a white Oreo motherfucker like Frank gonna know what's going on in 2002 for any Compton shit? Funny to me. But he puts it out in a documentary and now. It's factual to all, most of y'all. And Reggie Senior was in the car. Cause you know, that's how third hand shit gets. Cause it's Reggie Carr, but Reggie Senior gonna run around. Nah, nigga, everybody know. Everybody in the hood know. James know, everybody knows Ty Stick that was in the car with Buncher. That took off and ran when the shit happened cause he had warrants. That's why he couldn't stay around at the location. Cause he was wanted at the time. Some would say, some would say maybe he set him up. I don't know, I don't believe that. Uh, Buntry and their family don't believe that, so I don't know why the fuck y'all be saying shit like that. For those of y'all that say that bullshit. So anyway, some dudes for standing up for their boy V uh, and thinking something that has something to do with that. Catch Buntry slipping at the gas station and um, shot and killed Buntry. That's what happened. Last time I'm going to speak on this shit. And, um, yeah, this is off the cuff. Forgot about it. Didn't know about it until John just asked me that question about today. Today reminded me that um, it's the anniversary, 21st anniversary of his death. So I know his kids are older now, but they were real young. And so they could squash all the rumors and hearsays that's been heard, that's out there. That's the gist, that's the synopsis, synopsis, whatever that word is, of what happened and the reason why Buntry is no longer with us that way. I believe that was his date to die, I'm a, you know, from my Bible. But how you go out, uh, Maybe, you know, uh, yeah. God, God don't have no control over that. Or he let us make that free will or that choice on that. I'm sorry, John. No, I just was curious um, because I've heard the story about Vincent Buchanan and all that. But w what was the issue that prompted the people to do what they did to him? I've never heard that part of it. I don't know. That's why I say I don't know. Uh... I don't know, that's why I say with how Suge name come up in it. I understood why Buntry's and my name came up in it because of the handcuffs and the uh, uh, allegedly Buntry watching the tape. But for Suge name to come up, other than him just being, or uh, Reggie and Buntry being close to V, it's the only way I can do that. So other than that, I don't know, I don't know.